destroying this crazy, crazy mansion. This has to be one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm here with Dark Inspiration and the proper people, well half of it. Brian's here, no Michael sadly. But uh, yeah, let's get into this place. So a little history on this place. It's actually owned by one of the investors of the Titanic, which is so crazy. This place is 120 years old. Uh, it's breathtaking. Fireplace, that's all marble. So now I'm heading over to the chapel. This actually used to be the ballroom, but a church actually bought this place a little while ago and tried to turn it into a church. But I don't think it really worked out. But at least they left the ceiling completely intact. Could you guys imagine going to church in like a beautiful mansion? It'd make me want to go. These pews are kind of whack compared to the rest of the place. <laughs> they look kind of cheap. Classroom too. Oh, this is cool. I wonder if this was like the Sunday school. These little desks are really cool. Look at the ceiling. Got a little uh, electric piano in the corner of the school. Wow, even like the doors are amazing. Look at that. Incredible. Okay. Just making our way through the hallways. Got some stairs here. And a kitchen looks like. Oh, uh, this kitchen's pretty neat looking. I loved how they dome this park just to fit that window in there. It's pretty cool. Okay. What we got over here? It's kind of like the other first room we started in. Got an interesting looking door over here though. It's like curve shaped. There's a bathroom. Okay. But yeah, look at this door, guys. It is rounded. Like, they don't make like that anymore. That's really cool. Oh, look. It has the same design as the wall. This door's kind of blocked by some junk. But, man. Yeah, I'm not sure what all this baby stuff is doing here. Very interesting. Maybe it was like a, a toy drive for the church. And this looks like a dining room. <laughs> Oh, 
That's interesting. Hmm. I think that's Korean. They still have wood in here for the fireplace. I wonder how recent it was used. But speaking of the fireplace, look at this detail. Oh. That's amazing. So next to the dining room, we have this room. I do believe there's 110 rooms in this place total, which is just crazy. Oh, this is one of my favorite yet, though. Okay, now we're heading into what looks like a library. Got some stuff over here. Ten cents. Thursday, May 1st, 1969. It's pretty cool. We also have some books over here. Let's go further into this library. Just keeps going. More ceilings. Oh, we got a giant book here. Look okay, at Atlas. You want something crazy? What? I don't know if you want to film this. I mean, you could put this photo in your video if you wanted to. That's where we're standing right now. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> All the freaking, like... That's, this, that's the room. Yeah. Before Hello. they auctioned all the art, that was the original. Room. Wow. And they plastered over the original walls and the drywall. And yeah. The walls actually here. It was blanked it out. It's blank. Painted over the original. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah, so the church actually sold all the art that was in this place just to recoup some money from buying it, I guess. And then it. Yeah. So it's kind of destroyed over here. I'm not sure what happened. Yeah, you think? They must have stripped a lot out of this room over here. Oh. Yeah, this would have been an awesome room. It still is. The walls are gone. Yeah. I bet the whole thing was like that at one time. Yeah. I'll see if I can find a picture online. We can just straight up shot be pretty sick here from the middle. Yeah, right? Look at the size comparison, guys. Yeah. He's like here and like... That's a door for an ETH. <laughs> yeah, you can see there were tapestries. Yeah, there was. Wow. What a shame. This is all marble. Yeah, they just sold it. Some of it they didn't even... Didn't make it. Oh, look at that. The face in there. Sad. This doorway is really nice. This ceiling used to have really nice art on it. Kind of seat up there still. It's faded over time. This, that window's broken, weathering. Okay, I'm leaving the library, and I'm gonna head over here. Just dropped big time right here. It's kind of cold. Wonder why.
Ooh. This one's kind of set up still. Another typewriter. I've seen quite a few typewriters in here so far. Let's see what's in here. Just some papers and goggles. <laughs> This is a very interesting painting. I don't know if it's three horses or three-headed horse. Okay, so this connects to another bedroom. I guess bathroom, yeah. Golf clubs. Uh, this is kind of like the living room for that bedroom, I guess. Very cool. I've got a book that says The Memories, 1953. Pennsylvania. Looks like a yearbook. Oh, not really, I guess. Oh yeah, no, definitely your book. Captain Jack Wiseman. Henry Hooper. Very cool. And the kitchen. Is that like... Yeah. Hot dogs. <laughs> Looks pretty fresh. Oh, actually, I wonder if an explorer brought these hot dogs. Because there used to be a dog that used to be here. And it would, like, chase people out. That's interesting. Got another yearbook. Pretty neat picture. So in the kitchen, there's this kind of tiny fridge, but it is totally on. It's interesting. None of that stuff's any good, but the fridge still works. Oh, check out this dome. Oh, that is so sick. It's right before the entry of the library. Hmm, what we got over here? FL missing miscellaneous cards. Legal file size. I'm not really sure what any of this is. I wonder if this is part of the library. Pretty cool. Oh, this bed has bedding. Nice crawl foot. Closet. I love that fireplace over there. Let's go down this way. This looks incredible already. Oh. I hope you guys are enjoying this just as much as I am. This place is just incredible. Every last detail is just amazing. Nice closet. Look, this was somebody's room.
Look at that detail up there. Okay, so this is definitely another room that the church stripped. I wonder what it looked like. I mean, it's still pretty nice now. There's some old wallpaper. It's pretty cool. Look, another curved door. I don't want to pull it too hard. But yeah, that's so nice. Kitchen. This is definitely like an aftermarket kitchen after they built this place. Another bathroom. It's so sad that this mirror got broken. Pretty hard to replace. Ooh, that floor right there is weak. Nice closet. And a bathroom. This bathroom has such high ceilings. What do we got over here? Oh, wow, it was down pretty far. Okay, now we're on the opposite side. Kind of looks the same. Oh, but we got some stairs right here. Definitely head up there in a minute. Look at these old bed frames. Ugh. Wouldn't be very comfortable. Now this is a beautiful bathroom. Wow. Ooh, we got some color. Blue. This is different. I wonder why this room is blue and I don't have to see blue in this whole entire place yet. That uh, furnace thing right here is really cool. That's awesome. This room's pretty. Oh, there's actually a basketball court out there. It's pretty cool. So we got some more blue over here. Oh, yeah, that's so nice. This is a really nice fireplace. We also got some newspapers in there. It says Pussycat. 1984 Buick. I guess this is 84 air. Ooh. These three doors look really cool. So I totally missed this safe. I walked past this like twice. Wow, oh, it's heavy. Wow. Really nice.
So this closet is loaded with stuff. We got up here. Oops. Some denim jeans. Those are pretty cool. Very 80s. Yeah, let's check out these stairs. Let's go down first. Private entry. Oh, it's locked. Oh, wow. Um, this is crazy. <laughs> Okay, let's look around this thing. Books and papers and newspaper. not a morgue. Can't be a morgue. It looks like a morgue. No. This is really cool. There's so much stuff in this room to unpack. I'm just gonna start looking around. Subject follow up. The road ahead to socialism. Oh, interesting. I wonder if this was like the really important books. So crazy, these totally look like morgue. I wonder where all the books are. Probably sold them. This blue paper. Chili. Man, I could just spend all day in here just looking at all this stuff. This looks like a kind of like a bar table. Okay, we made it up to the third floor. This is cool. This is the top of the library. That library dome. It's really awesome from up here. Ooh, this is really green.
These are definitely like worker rooms, I think. They're much smaller and not as pretty. It's a cool typewriter though. These halls are probably just lined with paintings at one point. Yeah, that bathroom sucks. Compared to the rest, definitely like worker's house. And here's the name of somebody. Don't have some damage to it. Looks like more, more worker rooms on this side. Okay, heading up to the fourth floor. Got more rooms. Ooh, that's really cool. Whoa, that's weird. Hallway, weird attic. Ooh, heck yeah, this room's sick. I have a good picture of this one. It's so weird. Most, like pretty much every single door is open in this place. There's like three doors that are just screwed short, shut. I don't know why. I wanna go in there really bad. Let's check out this attic thing real quick. This place is so big. Like you get lost in here. So I guess this is, oh. Oh, wow, I about fell. This is bus above the library. That would've hurt. So here looks like more part of the attic. Interesting. Hmm. Another typewriter. How many is that? Like five now? Whoa. This is very narrow. Nothing left. This looks like a radio or a transmitter. Very old. Got some old luggage. Name is gone. Guys, this is the best part of this entire place, and maybe the best freaking 
like lobby in a place I've ever seen in my entire life. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. This is above the lobby. It's pretty. I would just like grab a chair, chill up here all day. So I'm walking by the sanctuary one more time and I noticed that they have the lights on now. I guess uh, they messed with some Switches. Brian did. Oh, yeah. He's the electrical genius. <laughs> genius over here. It looks crazy. I have to come back in here and take some more pictures now, guys. You can see the details in the paintings a lot better now. Oh, my God, yeah. I was, I was telling Brian, I'm like, they look so three-dimensional. Like the paintings just look like sculptures. You can just see all the details. You can see all the mold in the paint. Yeah. <laughs> in the middle. And the asbestos. The mold is just... I wonder what... Uh, Portrait was sitting right up there before they sold it. <laughs> okay, behind the lobby we have some interesting things. Ooh, it's cold in here. Oh, more books. Wow, a lot of books. <laughs> Oh. Oh, man. Oh, this looks like uh, maybe it was a church office for a minute. Pee pee poo poo. I don't think that's original. Ooh, so this, this looks like pool stick holder. So this definitely was like a pool hole at one point. I guess the church got rid of that stuff too. Oh, classroom number one, I guess. It's pretty cool. Heading down to the men's lounge. Sounds kind of cool, I guess. Ooh, this is a huge safe. Nothing of value.
folding here. It looks like a freaking castle in here. I mean, it pretty much is a castle. This looks pretty interesting. Not too sure what that is. A bathtub. Ooh, I bet this was like a wine cellar. It's a bit flooded now. Ooh, this is creepy. Yeah, this is weird. I don't like this. <laughs> Maybe it was like a nursery for the kids. Okay. Check out the other side. This looks more like a basement. fridge. It's very spooky over here. Go some further. Okay, this is like the Basement, basement. Ew. This is the ugliest room here. Drop ceiling. Why? We definitely ruined this fucking part. Oh, but this is interesting. That's a mixing bowl. Well, if this works. Very cool. So that's gonna do it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This place was insane. We've been here for about five hours now and we're pooped. <laughs> Best place ever. Best place ever. Let's go get some food, boys.